A man and woman are drawn together, entangled in the life cycle of an ageless organism. Now, first of all, I'll say that um, synopsis I just gave was the IMDb synopsis, because in all honesty, I have no idea what this film is about. Not to say it's a bad film, it's just, it's, it's different, I'll say that. Now, Shane Carruth um, kind of directed a film Primer back in 2004. I still haven't seen it, actually. Everyone kind of raves about it, say it's like a really good kind of uh, time, kind of kind of time travel movie. As you're a big fan of the kind of the smaller the smaller kind of films like that. And I didn't know much going to this film and that probably best. I didn't see any trailers or anything. And uh when, to be honest, I didn't look at it look at any plots, but if I did look at any look, it did look at some plots, I wouldn't be able to work it out anyway. It's kind of a weird kind of it starts off it I mean it's easy to follow at the beginning, but when it gets into the kind of the second and the third kind of the, the, the kind of last two thirds it just kind of just it all just kind of kind of floats off and I have no idea what's going on so yeah this man kind of kidnaps this woman kind of somehow makes her ingest this kind of worm thing that makes her kind of highly suggestible and basically kind of whatever he says like is kind of kind of like true like in order to kind of not being able to um to kind of um identify him she he kind of tells her that kind of his head is the sun so if she looks at it she'll die or something like that and then she kind of, he makes her kind of empty all her bank accounts and all kind of the things, she, all the valuables that she keeps in her house and kind of makes her kind of give the, give it to him. And then it kind of evolves into this kind of, this weird thing with pigs and worms and kind of this guy kind of takes samples of kind of weird sounds like he gets, like he's, like he um, goes into this tunnel and kind of, kind of like these rocks kind of slide down this metal wall and kind of records it and basically the woman kind of goes to him and then he kind of takes this worm out of her then he, then she meets this guy and they somehow kind of feel this this kind of connection and then then after that I have no idea what's going on it's kind of weird it's one of those films that that one when I was watching it, it didn't seem it was anything really special. It was kind of visually stunning, though, really nice to look at. But it was one of those films that I didn't... I don't know, it was kind of one of those films that, when I was watching it, I didn't think it was that good. But the more I thought about it, it was one of those films that that kind of burrowed into my head and would not let go for a good few days afterwards. I really wanted to, wanted to see it again. I've already ordered it on Blu-ray, which is... Um, so I could watch it again, but like I said, it's one of the where, where the kind of when I was watching it, I didn't think it was that good. But kind of thinking about it more, I kind of I knew more that was going on. Not that I actually know what the hell is going on at all. Uh, that's kind of need need a, a few more views of it to be honest. But like I said, really visually stunning. This guy knows how to work a camera. There's no from what I know, the kind of minimal. I don't know how much of it is CGI or um, which is kind of actually shot, but really really nicely shot. It's kind of, it kind of reminds me a bit of a Terence Malick film, kind of not, kind of no simple shots, kind of, but also one of those films that every shot kind of means something, but you don't kind of quite know what it means till the film's over, and then kind of you, you kind of you watch it again and you kind of kind of connect the dots kind of thing, which I which I really quite liked. It's one of those films that that really makes you think. It really kind of burrows into your head and kind of does not let go for like I said, I was thinking about it for a good few days. Uh, Shane Carruth also um, stars in the film as well as kind of as the guy who, um, who kind of meets his girl kind of halfway through the film, and uh, again the acting, I mean the acting is good, but it's nothing kind of that's not the focus of the film. Uh, it's very much on the kind of the visuals and the kind of what you what you can, how you piece things together, which is not an easy thing to do in this film at all. Like I say you'll need you'll there's no possible way that you'll know everything that's going on on the first viewing. You have to watch it a few times to kind of find out. I've only watched it once though, but I really want to watch it again. So I've, like I say, I've ordered it on Blu-ray already. And uh, yeah, so it's a very visually stunning film. The acting, nothing to kind of write home about it. It serves a purpose, I'll say that. It serves a purpose. But I'd say I'll give it a good, oh, it's a hard, now I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna rate this film because it is really hard to do. It's not, I don't know. It just kind of, it's not. A, it's not a film that I can rate. I'll say that because it's not a film I can kind of fully appreciate on one on one viewing. I'm gonna to have to watch it a few more times. 
So I'm not going to rate it because it's, it's really hard to do that. But I'd say really, really good film. Like, when I was watching it, it wasn't anything good, but kind of the more I thought about it, uh, the more I kind of really appreciated it. So uh, that's really honestly all I can say about this film. Uh, it's not going to be a film for everyone. I did hear some kind of some very kind of uncomfortable shuffling around during the films because obviously people didn't really like it. But I really liked it. Really visually, visually, really really nice to look at, and really makes you think a lot. It's a very kind of thought provoking film. I think there was an interview with Shane Carruth that. Um, when he said that it's a film that invokes discussion, which I think is a really good thing to do. I mean, I say, I can understand people hating this film. I didn't think it was anything amazing, but, but when I was watching it, but I couldn't really recommend it to anyone. But if you're a fan of kind of films that make you think, films that are really visually stunning, and films that really makes you makes you think about things and and it's not like a like think about the human condition or whatever, but thinking about what the hell's going on because there's no way that you kind of know what's going on all the, all the time. So, like I say, I'm not going to rate it because it's not kind of one of those films, but I'd say give it a go. Um, it's not readily available on DVD or anything unless you import it from the States, but but anyway, I'd say really good film. So, uh, I think that'll do. If... Uh, you want to see this film or you don't want to see this film, please comment down below. If you have seen the film, comment down below as well. Tell me what your thoughts on the film were. And, uh, yeah, as always, more reviews coming in the future. So until then, please rate, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.